Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault once again. Today I'll be giving you my signature style interior exterior walkthrough video of the new Toyota Innova Touring Sport Edition that was launched recently. You can watch my detailed first drive review of the Innova Krista where I talk about everything that you need to know about this car. You can watch that video by following the link appearing on the screen right up here. So now without further ado, let's dive straight into this video and find out what the new Innova Touring Sport has on offer. The Innova became a benchmark the moment it was launched. Such is the trust and belief Toyota have managed to instill into the hearts and minds of the Indian car buyer. While the first generation Innova was almost complete in terms of everything one could expect from a premium MPV, Toyota just went ahead and further raised the bar and up the ante way too higher than anyone would have ever expected in this segment with the new Krista. The Krista was beautiful, comprehensive and convincing in every which way possible, a perfect and worthy successor to a blockbuster hit model which is the most difficult task to do in my opinion and Toyota pulled it off in grand style. And now for the year 2017 the Innova enters a whole new dimension of sporty and radical styling to appeal to the more demanding and more mature young professionals in our nation who are very particular and very clear in their mind as to what they want to buy. This is the Innova Touring Sport. Wonder why the Krista name has gone missing here? Nevertheless, this is by far and away the best looking car in its segment, especially this wildfire red color variant literally sets your heart on fire. Now gone are those days where we used to dismiss MPVs as anything but desirable design wise now this car would catch the corner of your eye on any given day maybe it's the hexa effect that we see toyota coming up with the sportier looking variant now so without further ado let's see what all new the touring sport edition has on offer please note that nothing much changes here with the touring sport it's just a design overhaul to make it look more contemporary the Touring Sport has been launched on the occasion of the first anniversary celebrations of the new Innova Krista. The engine options and the engine specs remain the same. The petrol engine is the same 2.7 litre unit that puts out 166 PS of max power and 245 Newton meters of max torque. The petrol variant is available with a 5-speed manual gearbox as well as a 6-speed automatic. For the diesel, we have two engine options. First, we have the 2.4 litre unit that makes 150 PS of max power and 343 Newton meters of max torque and this comes mated to a 5 speed manual gearbox and then we have the 2.8 liter engine that puts out 174 ps of max power and 360 newton meters of max torque and comes mated to a 6 speed automatic transmission the major difference though has all to do with the looks the touring sport edition gets a crossover kind of a body kit now with all round body cladding the contrast black treatment to the front grille clearly defines its sporty theme. Further making it look more dynamic are the smoked LED projector headlamps and front bumper spoiler with chrome accent. The matte black 16-inch alloy wheels look absolutely amazing. At the back, we get the black tailgate garnish that looks really cool. And we also get a rare bumper spoiler with chrome highlight that adds a radical touch. Now this clearly proves how a sensible design overhaul with a few design tweaks all around can end up giving a car a fresh new look. On the inside we get red stitch on the seats and the front central armrest. It isn't clearly evident here because the seats are covered. We then have the unique redwood pattern on the dashboard which looks classy and premium. The Speedo gets a red illumination combi meter that looks gorgeous when it lights up. The MID or multi-information display shows the gear position indicator, navigation display, fuel consumption, cruising range, average speed, eco drive indicator and eco score, outside temperature and a whole lot more. 
The 7 inch touchscreen infotainment system comes with a DVD player, Bluetooth connectivity, etc. Navigation is available only for the petrol and diesel automatic variants. We get 6 speakers all around that sound decent. Safety wise, ABS with EBD and brake assist is standard across the entire touring sport range. The petrol and diesel manual variants get 3 airbags whereas the automatic variants get 7 airbags to include dual front airbags, driver knee airbag, front side airbag and curtain shield airbags. We also get vehicle stability control and hill start assist but those features are available only in the automatic variants. Also the touring sport is available only in the 7 seater variant with captain seats for the second row. The leg room as you can see here is more than sufficient. We also do get reclining and sliding option for the second row seats. The third row in my opinion is best suited for kids. Adults can squeeze in for short trips through the city but long trips might not be all that pleasant. We also get eco and power driving modes which you may choose as per your driving style and preferences. Now looking at the storage options we get dual glove box layout which would really come in handy to store a lot of stuff on the go. We get some concealed storage underneath the front central armrest and we get bottle holders on all four doors which is excellent. Now looking at the boot we get around 300 liters of storage space with all the three rows up. We then have multiple seat folding options to make way for more room. We can fold down the third row as you can see here. We can even fold them up as you can see in this video clip and then if you are fan seeing carrying your refrigerator along with you well you can flip down the second row seats flip up the third row seats and that becomes a possibility now price extra room hyderabad for the touring sport edition starts from around rupees 19.07 lakhs and goes up to 19.16 lakhs for the petrol as well as diesel manual variants the automatic transmission range starts from rupees 22.32 lakhs and goes up to rupees 22.41 lakhs for the petrol as well as the diesel range well that's about it for now to know the exact on-road price and other details about this car you can call the number appearing on the screen currently well that's pretty much it for now i just hope you found this video useful until next time this is dino saying ciao take care god bless and drive safe